First and goal from the eight. Carolina, though. When they have to field goal at every time. Down the right side, and it's deflected out of play. And that could have been it right there. It was broken up by Carter. Second and goal from the eight. I am doing... Oh, they were they were showing an injury for somebody. Oh, and Berlin goes down hard at around the 17. This is gonna be a big long third down coming. Third and 15. Are they gonna really try a running play here? Third and goal. Berlin gives it off to Ibaka. Breaks a tackle, and he gets about to the 10. And I think Carolina was looking for maybe to get another field goal opportunity. Two big throwing, two big drives for Carolina. And this could be, this would have been an eight-point game had they made the initial uh, field goal. Instead, they went for it. There's the kick, and that is good. Make that six for six for number four. Kasey now gives the lead of the Panthers a five-point advantage. Something I'm noticing a lot from Carolina right now is that they're moving the ball downfield. The first and a little bit, and like the earlier part of the second quarter, they were having a hard time moving the ball downfield, whereas New England kind of solidly did it. And I think it was just because, wow, Falk doesn't even get to the 24, it looks like. He got to the 23. It looked like the pa the Panthers were trying to adjust to New England's play on offensively more so than their own play, so that way they could at least lock down the defense and then switch it back to the offense. But that's just what I think. Bledsoe, looking. All kinds of time. Oh, and he gets taken down hard. That's going to be a loss of six. They're going to mark him down a loss of five. Bledsoe kicks it back. Another back. Oh, my goodness. And a double reversal. Carolina called a blitz, not having anything of it. It's another loss of three. Here comes third and 18. Bledsoe fires a long ball downfield, and it's deflected up in the air, and New England will be forced to punt. I wonder if Tom Brady is an option. Like, if I wanted to switch out something. If I wanted to switch out the QBs real quick, I wonder if Brady would be an option. That'd be interesting to see. I'd kind of want to put him in just to watch him get sacked, but I will be fair. I will not be too hard on this New England team. Fair catch is made by Matt Calf at the 40. More than halfway through the third, and New England still with not a big lead, but a nice one, a comfortable one. New England is forced to have to make a touchdown if they want to take the lead back. Berlin gives it to Ibaka, runs up the middle, and gets about eight. I'm also seeing the run game improve a lot right now from Ibaka on this Panthers offense. Part of me is thinking Carolina seems to be running it a little bit more, and I'm, I'm just wondering if that's just trying to take time off the clock. Shifting them on the defense to the right side. It's intercepted by Law at the 25. And while Carolina is robbed of a possession, looked like it slipped off the hands of 87, and it just appeared in Law's hands. Yeah, Law was not there initially to get the ball. And while Carolina, like I said, loses a possession, that puts the Patriots back to where they were previously. 
So Bledsoe now with three wideouts, five receivers. This ought to be good. Bledsoe fires to the left. He finds Glenn. Breaks a tackle, but he can't break the second. He's, it's a first down and more. Bledsoe gives it back off to Falk, and Falk immediately met by a defender. No gain on the play. I like how they say short gain or loss of, lo uh, like, short loss. But I, I'm, I'm looking at the field from the sideline. Like, I can definitely tell when there was, like, loss or gainage or not. And there, there was no gain right there or loss. Bledsoe almost nearly sacked as Falk gets it, and he's taken down... He will not make it. He is going to be short. Third and inches coming up. It's a gain of nine for Falk. Third and one. This band-aid, taking this band-aid off is going to hurt. I got a band-aid on my left cankle or whatever, and it's going to hurt. Bledsoe gives it. Fires it to the left. He finds Redmond, but I believe he may have stepped out of bounds. It is incomplete indeed. Fourth and one. And now if you're the Patriots, what do you do? You're on the 48-yard line of Carolina. This would be... Number 10 punts it away. They decided to play it safe. And the ball will be kicked all the way out of bounds. Looks like it landed. I guess when it lands out of bounds, it lands where it would have landed in relation to the field. I always thought it just went out to the 20 or 25. Berlin fires to the right. He finds Floyd. It's going to be a short gain, maybe about four. It is a gain of three. Floyd has 48 receiving yards in this game. Second and eight. Berlin runs it up the middle, and he just can't go anywhere. Yeah, they are going to give him a short game, so now here comes the third and seven on their own 16. If they punt it right here, it gives New England decent field position. Berlin looking. Fires down the right side. It's just out of the reach of the receiver. We're talking just out of the reach. It was intended for Muhammad. Which he had a big first quarter. Really has been kind of sleeper since. Walter kicks it off for Carolina. It's caught by Brown, and he can't go anywhere. He is stopped at the 37. And with the ball being kept on the ground, I'm actually a little ahead as far as recording time goes. So this could be the last play of the quarter, or last play for me on this video. Bledsoe, almost sacked, finds Carter, and Carter broke a tackle. He may have stepped out of bounds, though. We're going to have to wait and see. No, he didn't. It's good for 19.